Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the P4070 and we're looking at circuit, landing and shutdown. First of all, our pre-landing checklist. Check the engine cowls and check that they are closed. Check the locking tail wheel, ensure that it is forward and locked. Check the mixture knob, ensure that it is in auto rich. Check the RPM box, check that the switch is in the up position for auto, there we go. Ensure that our boost lever or our supercharger lever is interconnected with our throttle. Next let's talk about the landing circuit. We're going to approach from the direction of the runway on the dead side, this will be a left hand circuit, at 1500 feet AGL. 200 miles per hour. This will be a standard recovery circuit, so a left brake, 180 degree turn over the runway, 160 miles per hour. Descent to 600 feet and landing gear out. Extend past the end of the runway to your desire and base turn, 160 miles per hour, extend flaps. We're then going to slow onto the final down to 120 miles an hour, maintain that until final and threshold. At threshold, Officially, we're supposed to cut throttle. At that point, we will glide over the runway 10 to 20 feet at three-point attitude. So that means the same, essentially, angle of attack at which you are static on the ground at. The aircraft will stall at 90 miles per hour, depending on weight, and touch down three-pointer. Once we've touched down, maintain your with the rudder, not the brake pedals. Once we're below kind of 50 miles per hour, we can alternate brake pedals to slow us down further. So off we go, we use the altimeter on this bar here because at the time of doing this we don't have a usable altimeter. Our speed, we can get off the speedo here. So here we go, let's retrim to neutral. Use the VSI and the altimeter at the bottom to achieve 1500. And it will be AGL, we've been looking for 200 knots, uh, miles per hour, sorry. Okay, she's trimmed to pretty neutral. Use the VSI to level. Continue on the dead side to the end of the runway. Okay, we're going to break 180 degrees into the downwind. The downwind, we're going to achieve 600 feet and reduce to 160 miles per hour. I'm off the throttle for now. VSI to reduce our altitude. Thousand feet, 180 miles an hour. 900 feet, and that is 160 miles an hour. Come back on the gas. That is 600 feet. Use the VSI to level back out. Power on. Maintain 160 miles an hour. Gear out. Must not do gear out above 100 and I think 90 miles per hour. So double check, 600 feet, 160 miles per hour. And just get back on course, retrim as necessary. A little bit of rudder trim in there. Extend past the threshold. A little bit fast there. Okay, we're going to make our base turn. We slowly reduce altitude, we're also going to reduce speed here down to 120 miles an hour. Flaps are going to come down to full, which will uh, cause a significant drag, obviously. about on speed there. A little slow there. Okay, that's not too bad. We're going to merge with the radio now. As we go, we're going to pass the threshold pretty low and we're going to pretty much cut the engine at the same time. Make sure we don't have any wheel brake on as well. We're going to fly over the runway low, 
as we cut we're going to aim to achieve our three point attitude just that bit of rudder here as well okay engine cut achieve attitude okay now rudder only no wheel brake we will go head over toe okay, well, not the cleanest but not too bad okay we're getting down to 50 miles now i'm going to just alternate the wheel brake a minute you don't have to do this it's just to expedite if we're on a uh, a short runway or a short rough runway we're on a big one here for tutorial purposes i'm just you can see on the bottom left i'm just alternating wheel brakes there wiggling his nose about a little bit tempted to do a j-turn to show off but i'm not going to do it i'm not going to do it work those thighs out okay we're now going to taxi we're on the ground now we do not want to cook our engine so we're going to open our cow as well as opening our cow we are going to remove our tail wheel lock because taxiing should be done without him on we're now going to taxi to a parking spot it's going to take a while so i'm not going to show you now i've already done a video on how to taxi and then we'll report back for engine shutdown First we need to apply our parking brake, this can be really fiddly and annoying and it may change, I'm not sure, but I'm going to left uh, click and hold, I'm going to put both brakes on, let go to lock, and that is our brakes now locked there. Next we're going to rev our throttle up to 1000 RPM on the engine there, next we're going to engage the oil diluter switch there, and then I'm going to move the mixture all the way back to idle cutoff. She should cut nicely, and we're dil diluting the oil. Wait for the prop to stop spinning. Note it is a right-hand prop as well for turning. That's something I need to remember. Stopped. Let's get the magnetos with the ignition off there. And fuel selector down here. Ping, ping to off. That is the off position. Also note that according to the user manual, the circuit breakers here should all be popped out at this point now. Now this early release of the aircraft, I can't actually do that, but just bear in mind that something according to the manual should be done. I hope that was useful and see you later.